Is this the best version of Ferno? Can we use the pieces that come in this set to build our own LEGO creations? Well, let's discuss all of that in today's video. And we're also going to check out some incredible revamps of this set too. Let's dive in. Breakout Ferno really surprised me. Yeah, I remember when this set came out, I didn't really care for it. I don't know what it is, just underwater versions of characters, I'm not excited by them whatsoever. That goes outside of Hero Factory as well. It's just not my favourite thing. All the turbines, the tubing, the breathing apparatus stuff, it all just kind of gets in the way and it covers too much of the body. I don't know, not a fan. The Mari Wave of course is one huge exception to this rule, that is peak Bionicle right there. So when this set came out I didn't buy it, but I bought it recently. Yeah, I'm trying to buy every single Hero Factory set so I wanted to add this to the collection. And then upon building him I realised this might just be the best version of Ferno ever. The red and the white armour. It's a new colour scheme for Ferno but it looks wonderful. This new blaster arm, it's great. And the inclusion of a minifigure pike weapon on it as well? That's a surprise to be sure, but a welcome one. And then he's got a sick silver arm. I, I don't really know what this is meant to be. Is it like a robotic arm? Is it a sleeve of armour that only covers the upper arm and the lower arm and that's it? Who knows? Whatever it is though, it does look pretty cool. And then all this underwater gear. I thought I was going to hate this, but it actually looks really sick. The tubing here, it neatly frames Ferno's chest. And the colour of the turbines, it pairs beautifully with the other white accents that we see everywhere else. The things I hate about underwater gear weren't really a problem here. None of this stuff gets in the way, none of it feels pointless, and it doesn't really cover up his face or other really crucial body parts. Instead, it enhances the figure and makes them look cooler. Yeah, that's a bit of a blessing, isn't it? A toy that I thought I'd hate gave me joy all these years later. Isn't that cool? Inferno, like all the different breakout characters in this wave, he had a lot of thought and effort put into him, and he looks awesome. I actually think I like this more than Ferno XL, which I think is fair to say that that could be considered the best version of the character. But nah man, there's a simple elegance to this version that's just so charming. And hey, the pieces that come in this set, they're also pretty good. Let's check them all out. Ferno's blaster uses this piece here in red. You can always continue to use this piece in other weapons. It does look pretty good when you do so. But if not, do what OKSUSU02 has done on this creation. The images on Instagram here showcase two separate mocks, but if we look at the one on the right, this like awesome chef character, which by the way is a really fun concept. But yeah, they're lower legs. See how they've used this piece to form the armour and kind of the main structure of this leg design? How clever is that? Now bear in mind this is a slightly larger piece, so if you're going to use this for a leg design make sure you build a slightly taller mock. That way this leg design is going to stay in proportion with all of the other parts of this body. But there's no denying that this design is epic. Ferno comes with a lovely red torso piece and it has this sweet printed fire pattern on it. Dylan Meaves uses this piece on a demon creation. And I mean that just kind of makes sense right? Demons, they have fire powers. Or they live in hell or they live in some other kind of fiery landscape. So using this piece, it just kind of makes sense in this context. And you know what, you could easily include this piece on a tower of fire, or any other kind of character that has fire powers. That's just going to feel right at home. If not, Dylan has another series of mocks that utilises this part. These three creations are a part of a series called Hero Fortress 2, which sees Team Fortress 2, the video game, and Hero Factory combined into one. And I quite like how this printed torso armour adds just a nice pop of detail onto all of these creations. You know, each one is using very basic pieces, and all of these pieces appear in very sort of stock standard colours. So the hint of yellow on those flames, it really stands out and makes this look so much more pretty. I like it. Another nice piece that Ferno has is this white size 5 CCBS armour shell. Well, two of them more specifically. Here's a mock that uses a couple, and it's by Peter Shaker, it's called Togogo. So these parts are just nicely placed on the lower arm, it's nothing that special, but hey. I love how the white pairs with the sand green and the dark green. It's a lovely combo. But one thing to remember about these white armour pieces. They have two bar connections at the very top, which means that they can branch off into all sorts of different designs depending on what you put in those holes. And the way that Peter has taken advantage of these holes and put this giant red blaster sticking out of them, yo that's sick. And you could easily branch off all kinds of other accessories or weapons or whatever from these bar connections. The possibilities are endless. Another nice armour piece that comes out of this set is this one in red. Here's a couple mocks that use it. Okay, Susu 2 has a Tahu G2 revamp, and it's using this part down here on the upper legs. 
Yeah, so this armor piece, it's unique because it has that little indent at the top. And it's cool to see how this leaves room for the leg to transition into the waist. The way that those system greebles just nicely fill in this gap, it's oh so pretty. And then welcome to the dark side, he's built Lord Ferno, a mock that uses these pieces down here on the legs. How good do these pieces look when they blend in with these shin armor parts? This is the same piece that comes on a set much like a car. You can see them down here on his lower legs as well. Yeah mate, this is a stunning combination of pieces and a really good leg design. And how good is this torso design too, using that exact same Ferno torso piece that we were talking about before, but covering up the center there with this Galador piece. That's sick. And then finally, Ferno comes with this silver add-on piece. Eclipse Caller uses one here for some additional armor. Yeah, it's a simple design. They've used armor as armor, but that's what it was designed to be used for. Yeah, add it on to give your creation just that little bit extra something something. And in this context, I think it looks great. It partners very nicely with his cute little helmet. If not, use it the same way that Eclipse Caller has done here on this mock. He's using a gunmetal version, but they make for this really sick hand armor. The way that it so neatly covers up the hands and then it blends in with the rest of the armor and just kind of beautifully flows up the arm. It's exquisite. I mean, all of the armor on this mock goes hard. Maybe you could use this silver piece here and give your next mock some really interesting hand armor. Alrighty, so that's how you can use some of the pieces that come in this set. Now, let's see a really, really cool revamp of Breakout Ferno. This one here is called Big Fur Ferno 4.0 XXL, and it's built by Mark Perog. Man, a bigger, better, titan, extra large version of Ferno looks so dope. I mean, check out this silver arm. Instead of just being a couple cool silver pieces, this one is decked out. The curvature on the shoulder armor, the blades that stem off of it, this is awesome. And I like that they've kept elements that the original set had. You know, like the tubes that link up to the turbines on the back. And things like a big old blaster arm too. I mean, look at this blaster, it's huge. Adding in a Rakshi back piece in red and an ammo belt as well. This thing packs a punch. And great idea to also use the Ferno XL mask. It's pretty much just a slightly larger version of this mask. So I think it fits in better with the larger size of this creation. If you ended up using this original mask, I don't think it would have looked that good. Probably would have looked really small on this massive body. So this was a good alternative. Oh, and this leg design is epic. The sheer size of this is so impressive. This is a huge upgrade to what was already an awesome character. Well done. Alrighty, so that's it for Ferno. It's a great set and the pieces, they're pretty helpful as well. If you liked the mocks that I showcased in today's video, be sure to check the links in the description below. I'll have all of the social media of the builders right there for you to check out. But that's all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Happy building, and bye for now.